GH for STEM Juniors Challenge. Next, we have a student from Grace NAJHS in the Ashanti region of Ghana. Her name is Blessing Asantewa Bota, and she will be conducting an experiment with a long plastic straw, a knife, a straight pin, and another straw that has an eraser on the other end. Blessing uses this practical to make an anemometer so she can measure the speed of wind. Let's see what this junior scientist can do. Blessing is interested in measuring the speed of wind and so she designs an anemometer, the instrument used to determine the speed of wind. I will color one of the cups so that I can use it as my starting point when measuring the wind speed. I will take one of the cups for my center piece and poke the straws through, making a cross. The straws should be able to fit perfectly into the holes. Not too loose and not too tight. I will play a straight pin into the center of the cross, poke the other end of the straw into the size of the cups. The pin will keep the two straws in contact. The wind may displace the straws if not held together properly. Do you think we could use glue or cellotape here? I will place my anemometer in with the straw end. I will also ensure that the pin is not too tight to enable the anemometer to turn. As the wind blows, I will start counting how many times the carrot cap goes by in a minute. Then that is the speed of the wind. A stop clock is needed to keep track as you count the number of times the red cap passes in a minute. My anemometer is finding it difficult to turn because it is going forward and back at the same time. This means it's going against the direction of the ring. To have the accurate speed of the ring, it needs to rotate along the direction of the ring. For it to move along the direction of the ring, I need to turn the caps to the direction of the ring. It is used by scientists to give us uh, an advanced warning on how the speed of a rain is going to be of an effect to the general public or to a society. My name is Emmanuel Boateng Oche, a science teacher at Grace Emmy DHS. Modern anemometers measure wind speed and direction. This is very useful in weather forecasting. It's time for Genial's Practical STEM Quiz. What happens when it's going to rain? Does the wind blow faster or slower? And can we use our anemometer to measure this change in wind speed? Will the straw withstand a strong wind? What else can be used in place of the straw? Try it and share your findings with us. Can you imagine using something like this on a rainy day? How awesome! See if you can repeat this experiment at home, either by yourself or with your friends from school. Make a video or take pictures of your experiment. Ask your teacher or your parents to help you post the results of your experiment on social media. Tag We Go Innovate so that you can win some fabulous prizes. Don't forget to add your name and the name of your school to your entry and hashtag gh 4 stem You can check out any of our experiments at www.wegoinnovate.org and please leave a comment. You can also follow us on social media at wegoinnovate or WhatsApp us on 055-406-6248. Good luck with your experiment. You can be a junior scientist too.